All right, grade seven students, gather around. So as all of you know, today we're participating in our much anticipated scavenger hunt. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> so while going through the scavenger hunt, please remember safety first. I would ask that you stay with your team and never go off by yourself at any point in time. But and just remember our parent volunteers are here as silent helpers. So should you need any help in terms of safety, you can get in touch with one of them. Uh, what you will be doing today, each team will use their backpack of clues to answer their first scavenger hunt clue. The answer to each clue, which I have one here, will get you to your second clue. And this pattern will continue as you move through the scavenger hunt activity. So as you get through your clues, each clue will take you to a different province or territory within Canada, which we've set up here for you today. You will need to use these tools you have with you to familiarize yourself to the best that you can with uh, that province and your surroundings to answer the next clue. First team to complete the scavenger hunt gets a prize, but yes. <laughs> in my book, you're all winners for completing the scavenger hunt to the best of your abilities. Go down, Johnny. Go down. <laughs> but most of all, have loads of fun and learn a lot as you go through this problem. So just some last notes I have here, what you've learned so far and how you'll be using it. So you'll be using your knowledge on map reading and coordinates, your knowledge of Canada, its provinces, its territories, and most of all, land formation. geography and your knowledge of the various forms of information databases that we've gone over in class that will give the answers to the clues of the scavenger hunt. In your backpacks, each of you should have your iPad or tablet device, your atlas and map, your textbook, and a reminder of how to read the coordinates, which is something that we've done throughout the unit. Remember grade sevens, you yourselves, you are the best tool you have because you're fantastic learners and I can't wait to see uh, you get through your scavenger hunt. So yes. I'm wishing everyone the best of luck in your scavenger hunt adventure and most of all grade sevens don't forget safety first. Do I have any questions before we get going? No. All right yes question. What's the prize? The prize is a surprise. It is really fantastic. I'm really excited to show you guys everything. Another question. Yes. Yes, we can get started. All right, everybody, stand up, get set, and get ready to go with our backpacks. Can I have our first clue? Yes, you can. Here is your first clue, and on my count, you're going to go. So, ready? Five. Hurry up! Four. Hurry up. Three. Two. One. Go! Wait! We have to put in our coordinates. We haven't done that yet. Oh, my God. We were just going to go running around like... Chickens with their heads cut off. Okay. Alright. What are they? It's, it's, it's four, two, decimal, two, seven, okay, and then negative, 83, decimal, zero, six. Where is that? Where is that? That way. Okay, let's go. The first clue. Okay, I'm so okay, okay. Okay. Ah, welcome to your first clue. Take a look around and see what you can see. I didn't see trees. I see hills, mountains. Maybe. Isn't there mountains in like the west coast or something like that? I don't know. What are the other clues? Okay. Okay, our provincial motto is Splendor Without uh, dimin Diminishment? Diminishment. Diminishment? Diminishment. 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 All right, okay, okay, okay. I occupy about 10% of Canada's land surface. 10%. Really? 10%? Isn't there like I am North America's fourth largest film and television production center. I don't even watch TV. I play Minecraft. That's it? That's it. That's all oh. I do. Okay. Uh, the capital is located on an island. I think I an, saw... We have an island? Let me get my atlas. And the provincial flower is Pacific Dogwood? I don't know what that is. I don't even know what's dogwood. Hold on, look at my atlas. Okay, yeah. let's look in here. See, right there! Right there! Nova Scotia! It's an island! The capital's on an island. Oh, yeah, it does say capital. Okay. Well, then keep on looking. There's mountains. Aren't we on a mountain? Here, look. Victoria Island. It's on an island. Yeah, it is definitely. Okay, so we have to be British Columbia. 
British Columbia. Okay. Oh my god, it's British Columbia. Awesome. Let's put it in the new coordinates. All right. I right, really got to beat these guys. All right. All right, okay, let's go. go. All right. Confederation Bridge. Confederation Bridge. That doesn't make any sense to me. Let's okay. try a fourth clue. Ooh, it's an audio clue. It says we can check. All right, I pulled it up. Let's take a listen. Okay. Hmm. Okay. The sound of the birds in the ocean. And it says our fifth clue is the red soil in the red basket. I'm wondering. Red soil. Red soil. Federation bridge. Birds. And the sound of the sea. Do you think it could be Prince Edward Island? Prince Edward Island. I think so. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's pop it in. Here's our next coordinates. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Great. It was a great. Woo. Give yourselves a round of applause. High five, man. That was awesome. Scott.